the leading state for creativity and innovation. Arizona. We're known for having the strongest carbon fiber systems per ply. We are the only ones that are doing this, uh, this sensor that's a sealed sensor for the selenium process. The place where entrepreneurs with great ideas are powerfully positioned. Arizona. Our products will provide information from the blood much earlier so that treatment can, can, so that changes in the treatment could occur early on and get the patient on the right track. Where we support success to breed success, awarding $3 million in grants this year, the most in the U.S. Arizona. If you've got an idea, if you've got a business plan, if you've got passion, what you want to do, come see us. Arizona Innovation Challenge. Well, whenever you mix ideas, entrepreneurs with the potential to get funded and having a competition around that, that's, that's the energy of innovation. Having to go through the process of applying for the grant and answering the questions and then refining their their plan is it's a good exercise for entrepreneurs. That, if I go back to my Intel history, we used to fund startups. We would help them with contacts, with direction, with technology guidance, with our advice to help make them successful. And that's what the ACA tries to do. This is not a loan, this is a grant. So it's money that's coming into your company that you can use to grow your company and you don't have to pay it back. And if you can take this money and turn your company into the next Google or the next Facebook. This grant really gave us the opportunity to hire people that we probably could not have hired and to buy equipment that I assure you we could not have bought. So it was very fortuitous uh, that the grant application came around. And that allowed us to accelerate our plan from probably about an 18 month period of time uh, to get the marketing set up, the sales, um, and all of our uh, final kits and materials from 18 months probably down to about uh, six to nine months. You have to spend your own money first and then you get reimbursed second. We'd submit a grant it was reviewed within days. We were able to do things like develop a website that could take orders, um, get a merchant account, do a toll-free number. They asked for commitment and they held you accountable to the milestones that you set out in your, pro in your project. And so having that kind of accountability, but at the same time giving us the support we need to meet those timelines, um, was a very healthy partnership uh, between our company and ACA. We were able to release a product with non-dilutive funds. After receiving the grant funds, it helped us to uh, have more resources so that we could hire three additional employees uh, to hit those timelines. Uh, now we're in the process of hiring a production team, so we'll be adding uh, three to four more employees uh, in 2012. And we expect to have a full staff of 25 to 30 employees within the next year, year and a half. We kind of joke about we're in this tiny little space in Gilbert, kind of in the corner of Gilbert, and we're actually we have global reach. We're reaching out and, uh, and, and hopefully eventually changing lives. By affecting the efficiency of solar cells, we may be changing the planet. To all the aspiring entrepreneurs and innovators uh, in Arizona or who want to be in Arizona, I would very much encourage you to apply for the Arizona Innovation Challenge. Is your idea the world's next big thing? Be awarded up to $250,000 in the Arizona Innovation Challenge, now taking applications. Find out more at azinnovationchallenge.com. Take the challenge. Innovate here.